Before using the analyzer, firstly check that the particle filter is clean. Also check that the water trap has no moisture in it. If necessary, gently remove the rubber bung and then replace it. Make sure that there's no water left in the flue probe hose from your previous tests. Connect the hose to the bottom of the water trap. Connect the plug of the thermocouple into T1. Normally if you have the head of the screw pointing towards you, that makes sure that the connections are around the right way. When you want to use the analyzer, the first thing to do is position the flue probe in fresh air to make sure you're not in an area with any carbon monoxide. Then press the on button. You can hear the pump start. It starts its countdown, briefly flashes up the battery status, the fuel and also the pressure units and it continues its countdown. On a Kane 425 the fresh air purge normally lasts somewhere between 30 seconds and a minute. On a Kane 455 it normally lasts 90 seconds. When the instrument's finished its fresh air purge, initially move the dial to the ratio position. You can then check that the CO reading in fresh air is zero. Then move the dial to the oxygen and efficiency position. In fresh air, the reading, the oxygen reading, should be 20.9%. Now that may, may vary by 0.1 of a percent either way, so either 20.8 or 21% is perfectly acceptable. The TI figure here, that's the inlet temperature. When we switch the instrument on, the, that was the actual temperature of the thermocouple on the end of the flue probe, and the analyzer remembers that temperature as the inlet temperature. Next move the dial round to the status position. You notice that that stops the pump. On the top line, it gives you battery status. If this is lower than 20%, either replace or recharge the batteries. You've got the clock, the calendar, and also on the bottom line, cal. That's the number of days before the instrument's due for its next check and recalibration.